Well, as I'm sure most of you know, blood donorship is needed at all times throughout the year, but it's especially needed right now. And here to tell us why, I am joined by Debbie Barfoot from Canadian Blood Services. Debbie, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Debbie, let, let's, um, yeah, let's touch on right away why it's so important at this time of year. Why, why the great need during the month of December? Well, it is the season of giving, obviously. So um, there's a heightened need during specific times of the year. And traditionally, during the month of December, people are busy running around trying to get their Christmas um, shopping done and, and their house organized and planning for the holidays. So we tend to see a little bit of a decline over the holidays, especially between uh, Christmas and New Year's, the number of appointments drastically drops. And as you know, the need for blood does not decline. It's constant. Yeah. And uh, so we're just trying to get the word out about helping us fill all the available appointments in the month of December. And let's talk about filling those appointments. I mean, booking them is so incredibly important, but we want to really emphasize the fact if you book an appointment, keep an appointment. And the reason we're emphasizing it, Debbie, is that because there has been some struggle with that? Absolutely. So nationally, there's 38,000 open appointments between November 26th and January the 4th. So... That's a lot of open appointments that need to be filled. And there is uh, a couple of different ways you can make an appointment. You can do it directly on the Give Blood app. You can call 1-888-2-DONATE, or you can book directly online at blood.ca. And then because that appointment is reserved and booked, it is taken out of the public inventory. So. If you do make an appointment, we ask that you please keep the appointment or if something comes up and you have to cancel it last minute, please go and cancel the appointment online or on the app or give us a call so we can release it back into the general inventory for someone else to fill. For somebody that's giving blood for the first time, Debbie, can you walk us through the, the process? Absolutely. So. The first thing I recommend for a first time donor is uh, go basically to blood.ca and take the online eligibility quiz just to see if you're able to donate. Um, there is a criteria in place and there's 10 basic questions which ask you um, to see if you, if you are eligible. Minimum age is 17 years old. There is height and weight restrictions for uh, new younger donors between the ages of 17 and 23. Okay. Um, there's medication restrictions. And, uh, there's restrictions on if you've recently had a tattoo, um, you have to wait three months. So it's important to take that eligibility quiz as the first step. And, and what, where, what and then, sorry, I was going to say, what locations are available, Debbie, in, in the Ottawa area at the moment? Well, there's so many. I mean, uh, yeah. really the best yeah. thing to do is go to, go to blood.ca because we have uh, mobile collection events all over uh, the Ottawa area. You know, Renfrew, Smith Falls, uh, Orleans, Canada. We have a permanent center donation center on Carling Avenue. We have another mobile center at another location. There's So the best place to really go to is blood.ca and it will tell you the dates and the times and the open appointments that are, are available. Okay, and Debbie, what, what about health and safety protocols? What do you have in place at the moment that people should, should be aware of? So we have uh, many, of course, we're adhering to public health guidelines. So if you're not feeling well, uh, there is the pre-screening questions that are all COVID-19 related. There is temperature checks in place, hand sanitization. Uh, you arrive at the clinic wearing your a mask, and then we give you a surgical mask upon entry. We have physical distancing and spacing between beds and chairs that is minimum two meters apart. Okay. Uh, the only way you can really enter a donation center is with an appointment. 
So, you know, that's so we can control the number of people that are within the center. We have enhanced cleaning methods. Uh, we have sanitization teams that are coming in before each and every event, after each and every event, and then doing high touch point sanitization throughout the clinic. Excellent. Debbie, uh, real pleasure having you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us again today. Thank you. All right, take care. By the way, there's many ways to donate, so I, I really encourage you head over to blood.ca to make your appointment, find out how you can donate. Of course, you can review all that information that Debbie just shared with you as well. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be talking about a wonderful multicultural pageant. We'll be back with Gypsy after this with all the details. Don't go anywhere.